Okay, today I want to do a little overview of the Hatson Invader Auto. It's a semi-auto PCP air rifle, and I kind of wanted to just show an overview before I take this out and do videos shooting it, so that way I don't get a bunch of questions because it's an odd looking one, and I always get asked a lot of questions when people see this. So I'm gonna start from the front. This one's in 22. I have an adapter on here made by Donny FL that allows me to put a suppressor on here, which I'll get to a little details about that in a second. I attached a flashlight with a pressure switch. It has a collapsible foldable uh, foregrip here, all metal by UTG. It ha comes with a carrying handle that also has the sights in it and dog hair apparently down there, but it's got sights built into the carrying handle, which can be removed. Uh, if you do remove it, you have a lot of real estate with these rails right here to put whatever you want. It uses magazines. This is in 22 cal, so it holds um, 12 rounds in each magazine. It has a magazine holder right here to keep an extra mag. But the reason I like leaving the iron sights on and the carrying handle on is it raises up my red dot sight by BSA. And what's useful about that is it makes me have to adjust this adjustable cheek piece. And if it's exactly the right height, you can fit another spare mag right inside of there, which is very cool. And this is exactly the height I need to be able to see out of the red dot. So that allows me to carry two mags at all times on here. So about the suppressor that's on here, this is a Donny FL Sumo, which is one of his larger uh, suppressors. And the reason I'm using such a big suppressor on this, I have a smaller Donny FL Tanto. And when you put that on this adapter and you fire, what happens is the air comes out and it causes a back pressure without this on, which pushes a spring, rotates your magazine but when you put the adapter on and a small suppressor on this what tends to happen is too much pressure gets caught in here and it pushes back on that spring and it over rotates the magazine in here so it actually will kind of hang up it you pretty much have a single shot and every time you're going to have to cock it because what it's doing is causing too much pressure to blow back but i found by using the bigger silencer on here, it actually functions in semi-auto because it allows more of the pressure to go inside of this, which means not so much is blowing back and the actual magazine will rotate like it's supposed to. So this does function with the suppressor on it. On mine with the flashlight, the all metal carrying handle, suppressor, sight, and extra mags loaded in here. This is a hefty 10.6 uh, pounds. So it's not light, but I'm used to heavy weapons. I used to be a saw gunner in the Marine Corps, so it doesn't really bother me that much. But if you were to have to carry this hunting, that might be a factor you would want to think about. So to fill it, there is a little thing here and you can spin it and you have your fill port it's on both sides, so it's over here too. So you just plug your fill port in here, or your probe in here and fill it up. All right, so the tank on this is actually removable. So if you just spin this tank, and unscrew it, which is doesn't take much, you can pull this whole tank out. So what that allows you to do is if you buy extra ones of these tanks, then you can pre-fill them because you don't need to have the tank in to fill it. You can just fill it up while it's uh, not attached. And then what you can do is you can just bring extra tanks and have more uh, shots. So I have a backup tank for this. It's very nice that you get about, oh, I'd say, anywhere from 
36 shots to 45 shots before you're empty on this. So with a whole nother tank, you you know, you double that. This has just kind of been an overview of my Invader. I'm gonna post a video of me shooting this. From what I can see, it's pretty accurate out to about 50 yards. That's about as far as I got it. Uh, farther than that, I'm not so sure how like tight the groups would be. But overall, it's my favorite air gun. I love the semi-auto. I love how there's rails everywhere. You can put whatever you want, set it up whatever way you want. And this thing is a tack driver and it's, it's decent medium power, uh, which will get the job done on most varmints, critters and whatnot. So again, this is the Hassan Invader Auto in 22.